Welcome to What's Your Screw, where we tell stories, share experiences, and get inside the minds of artists, athletes, creators, and musicians. What's up, everybody, and welcome to episode nine of What's Your Screw, live from our parents' basement. Greetings. What is up, everyone? Today, we are going to tell the story, stories, the experiences we had with the beer mitten, brewskis with the broskis. Gonna dive into that. That's where we left off on episode eight. We left you guys with a little cliffhanger, and we're gonna bring the whole story full, full circle. So yeah, we talked about how we created uh, Beer Michigan, the beer mitten. Now that kind of spawned our trademark, and that's where Screw came from because we had to trademark our name and everything. So we created Beer Michigan, right? We trademarked the words Beer Michigan. Mm-hmm. Paid a pretty penny for that. Yes. And created a t-shirt design that was played right off of the Pure Michigan campaign. But it was within our legal rights. We own the right to the words Beer Michigan. If any of you remember the shirt, um, it had Pure crossed out with beer. So it really said Beer Michigan, but it had the illusion of the Pure Michigan um, logo with the blue M, which well, again the, was modified. Right. To the naked eye, it looked pretty similar to uh, the Pure Michigan font and everything. But technically not enough to infringe. Right. It, it actually wasn't because we had our boy, Jose, a graphic design artist. Got it done for us. Whipped it up, whipped up a logo for us, a design that the, the font looked close to it, but it wasn't spot on. It wasn't even the same font. Um, and the M, and the M was major difference. Yeah, the blue M, different so color even too. Yeah, different shade of blue. So it yeah. looked it looked pretty similar to it to the naked eye. Like if you just you know you saw it, you're like oh I get it right, pure Michigan. Um, but it was not the same font, and the M was completely different. But that's what we put on a T-shirt. We did a uh, beer Michigan. We threw that on a T-shirt. I mean, we just wanted to encapsulate um, drinking craft beer. We love we're big beer drinkers. We were electric beer drinkers, you know, in college, and we wanted a way to. Um, really focus, you know, focus the business around that in an aspect. So we made that shirt design, which then we paralleled with working with the Michigan breweries. Right. Which we we did that because we recognized the opportunity with how many, uh, just how big the craft beer market was getting in Michigan. And not only that, I mean, if we could find a way to tour this great state during the summer and. Um, drink beers with all these people who make them. We're like, dude, that sounds just like a blast. Mm-hmm. And then if we can turn that into something people want to uh, want to look at, well, then we're doing something right. So we um, made the beer mitten Instagram right. just to promote the line of shirts and the um, video series, which we later dubbed Brewskis with the Broskis, where we would sit down with the founders and mm-hmm. head brewers of these breweries across Michigan. And I think we created the Beer Mitten Instagram because Beer Michigan was already taken by someone. Yeah. So we're like, all right, you know, the Beer Mitten, that's kind of a cool name. We'll have that be the Instagram and we'll promote Beer Michigan underneath it. And the Beer Mitten domain was available and Beer Michigan was not. So we bought the beermitten.com. Yep. And we were like, how, how are we going to promote our Beer Michigan t-shirt, right? Like, how are we going to get it out there? Um, we created an Instagram for it. And no, actually, I don't think we created the Instagram yet. We were like, all right, let's just get a bunch of Beer Michigan stickers made up yeah. and go, uh, you know, give go, them out, go, tag some stuff, give them out, tag major uh, craft brewery towns yeah. like Grand Rapids and uh, I don't know, Kalamazoo. Kind of get our foot in the door with these breweries, too. Right. We were like, all right, we'll build, you know, we'll build brand recognition and everything with uh, stickers. And our mentor, Tom Sesti, he was like, why don't you guys, instead of spending a bunch of money on stickers and hopefully people will go to your website or whatever, why don't you guys just create like a beer mitten Instagram yeah. and build it that way? So we're like, oh wow, that's a, that's a really good idea. Why did we not think of that? So that's what we did. Yep. Created a, the beer mitten Instagram. I think in two weeks we had close to two thousand followers. Right. Um, it was a hit. Yeah. We were we were posting pictures of we would go out and buy the build your own six packs mm-hmm. from uh, the uh, VGs and Fenton was a big resource because they had such a big selection. And we would just take um, like scenic photography, you know, put it on a uh, like a pillar mm-hmm. and have a nice backdrop and kind of edit the photo. And um, and then eventually we started doing these brew babes where we would take uh, our models mm-hmm. and they would model uh, one brewery set of beer. Mm-hmm. So that way we'd get uh, respect and recognition from the breweries. And then the girls did an absolutely wonderful job and they were gorgeous. So promote the t-shirt. Promote the, the, they the were wearing the shirt yeah. during it. So that got the, so I mean within a couple of weeks we had close to 2,000 followers so we knew we had something. Right. And yeah, we just did a bunch of hashtags really and 
what we started doing too was like reposting people's photos. Yep. So I don't think we did them. it at first, no, but we started but we started doing to it. feature them on our page. Send and, us in, tag us, you know. Yeah, and we would just hashtag like craft beer and beer porn and Michigan craft beer and all these different things, and people would just follow it. Yep. It was just a, people got it, you know. It people, was simple. It was very – they knew what they were getting into. Right. Whereas a Scroove, you know, there's so many moving pieces – um, you know, it takes a lot for people to understand the brand, but the, the beer mitten thing was just so simple. So yeah, our followers started to grow and we did the brew babes. Right. And then we were like, okay, you know, we're, we kind of have something here. We have a lot of followers. We kind of have more followers than a lot of the breweries in Michigan we at did. the time did. We did. We had, unless you were like founders and bells had a ton, but other than that, at the time we were sitting around three, three and a half thousand. And we realized we had more attention on our page than most breweries. So we were like, all right, let's try and work with breweries. They can have us out. We'll do a photo shoot. We'll get content. They'll give us beer. We'll take photos. We'll create content. We'll put it on our Instagram. We'll give it to the breweries, put it on their Instagram and we'll Facebook. We'll take the beer back and do a photo shoot with a brew babe. Mm -hmm. Win-win scenario. And we're like, we get we get content. They get content. Yep. We get to go have a good time. It legitimizes us because we're working with breweries. So we started contacting breweries and kind of just cold calling, cold emailing them from home. Didn't really work out because people were like, what's your angle? People they always thought, thought we had Everybody an angle. thought there was a catch. Right. We're like, all right, well, how much? We're like, no, it's free. And we just want to come do this. It was such a win-win situation that, honest to God, nobody believed that we were going to just come out and give them free publicity on our page for like a case of beer. Right. Um, until Arcadia was the first one, right? Well, yeah. So we emailed... Emailed uh, a handful of people, of called a bunch of people, and just never, like, nobody got, like... They, At the they time, did, there were, like, 212 breweries in right. Michigan. They didn't get back to us. Yeah, we made a list of all of them. They didn't get back to us. They were like, oh, what's the angle? Just people were skeptical. So, one weekend, uh, me and our cousin Lauren, yeah. she was like, oh, you should come out to Western with me because it's our homecoming or something, and I'm just going to go party out there. I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, but let's stop at... Uh, Arcadia. Let's, the st zoo. let's stop at some breweries on the yeah. way out there. And so we stopped in Ann Arbor at a couple breweries, like Grizzly Peak or North Peak, whatever it's called. And then stopped in uh, Arcadia had in Battle Creek or something like that. I think they had a location. And I walked oh, yeah. It's Pirate Day. No, that, 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 that was that was like the following oh, day. Yeah. So I stopped in National there. National Pirate Day. Right. We stopped in there like Friday night, me and Lauren, just to, you know, hopefully talk to somebody and grab some dinner. Because obviously, like lessons we've learned over the years – emails, phone calls, like you might get lucky with somebody even opening it or calling you back. But if you just show up um, and, you know, are, are with good intentions, you'll get an audience most of the time. And then if you really believe in what you're you're projecting, then mm -hmm. you get a chance to, you know, get, get some groundwork laid. So we walked in and I'm wearing my Beer Michigan t-shirt. And the, one of the hostesses, she's like, oh, that's an awesome t-shirt. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, you know, awesome. that's cool you say that. It's actually, you know, my company. We made this shirt. Is there anybody here that I can talk to about setting up a photo shoot, heading out on the west side of the state? We'd love to work <coughs> with you guys. Just like, as a matter of fact, there is, like, the VP of marketing's here tonight. So we sit down. And, yeah, this guy comes over. I can't remember his name right now. Was but it Rick? Might have been. I don't know. He was a so, cool. This was a couple years ago. No? Yeah. He was a cool guy. He just like cool guy. talked to us, took genuine interest in what we were doing. And I'm like, yeah, you know, this is what we do. We would love to come out, do a photo shoot, you know, yeah. give you guys publicity. This is what we have going on. This is our Instagram. This is our brand of clothes. This is our t-shirt design, yada, yada, yada. And he's like, yeah, I love it. Absolutely. Anything you guys want, you know, um, here's my email. Just get in touch with me and we'll set something up. So I was like, all right, sweet. It was like our first gig. Mm -hmm. Get his email and uh, end up getting a hold of him. Mm -hmm. Uh, that next day, like that Saturday, we went to like the Kalamazoo Arcadia, and it was With all of our friends. That, and it was Pirate Day. Well, like day. Lauren and all of her friends. And you guys checked it. Yeah, yeah, we checked out. It was like a new location. It was, brand it was new in at the time. downtown Kalamazoo. Gorgeous, was, right by the river. Beautiful the fire pit out. Yeah, there. one of the honest to God, probably one of the like most relaxing brewery scenes I it think is. I've ever been to. And they say that like there's a river there, and you can like bring your kayaks yeah, up paddling. to during the yeah. summer and grab a beer and stuff. So we went and checked it out the next day, which it happened to be Pirate Day, which we love pirates. We love pirates. And they had like the Cannonball Porter, I believe it was. So it had pirate music playing. I think I actually went and got him. I was like, hey, we need pirate music. We need uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Pandora playing. They went and played it. So it was just a good time. We got a hold of the guy and we set up a uh, photo shoot for the next week yep. or two. So we drove out there. We had uh, 
Did we pick up Gibby and Greg? Gibby, uh, Zach Gibson, and Greg Gardner. Yeah. yeah. Two longtime buddies and brand supporters. They're like, yeah, let's let's go see what this is all about. So we picked him up. And then we met Lauren and her friend. Yep, Katie. Katie. And her boyfriend. Yes. They met us out there. No, and uh, she had one more friend that was there. I, I can't remember her name off the top of my head. Really? Teacher. teacher. Oh. Anyway. Yeah. I can't think of her name. I Sorry. can't think of it either. Um, Someone can help us later. <laughs> Sorry, we forgot your name. We'll, we'll look it up in the uh, Facebook photos. There's Instagram and yeah, Facebook there photos. Are photos. So we went out there. We had like seven people with us. Lauren agreed to take photos of us yeah. interacting, which was nice. And then we got yeah, we got photos of them. We got photos together. Yep. We had a, just a, we had a bunch of beer. We had a great time. They hooked us up. Big yeah, time. they did hook us up. The lady that we were in contact with, and I forget her name too, but she's at Bell's now. I saw her when yeah, I went to Bell's one time. Champ. Yeah, she helped Gave us, us like whatever we needed. anything you guys want. So they hooked us up with like free beer, free food, and we're stoked, anything. right? We had a bunch of content. We went out there and had a great time, which we drove like two and a half hours to go do this. Yep. But we were like, heck yeah, let's do it. It's for the brand. It's you know, it's gonna be fun. And you know, thank God for G- Gibby and Greg and Lauren and all and Katie. But we're out there and they have like cornhole. Yeah. Um, we we're playing games and just everyone, um, and I, you know, I think we had a certain presence about us because it was just a big group of us having a good time. Oh yeah, and yeah. wearing matching shirts, yeah. which you know, what is it a bachelor party? You know, just anytime a bunch of people are matching, people ask questions. But um, the design was so strong, and I think we were just having so much fun. I we sold. I I feel like we we asked, hey, can we sell on site? They're like, yeah, if somebody wants to buy it, go ahead. Yeah, we, oh, we always had like a a box full of shirts in our car. We had the card swiper and a little till and a box full of shirts. I think we sold like twenty shirts that day. Yeah, on on the spot, and that's how we knew the design is strong. The concept is good. If you can get an audience with the brewery, they're behind mm-hmm. it, mm-hmm. and that's good. And that was the real. Um, I don't know what you'd call it, but you know that was a testament that said, just like clicked. It was like, all right, yeah, this like, is we people have get it. You know, and, dude, our Instagram following was bigger than Screw. It mm. still is oh, yeah. today. Yep. We just knew all these things pointed in the right direction that said we need to, you know, play the hot hand here. So we did that. And I can't, I think kind of off of that, the Brewskis with the Broskis uh, spawn or what? Well, yeah, because originally um, our big thing was let's do these photo shoots. Mm-hmm. And it was a lot to line up. You had to find a day that worked with the brewery mm. where it wasn't yes. busy because, um, you know, they, you can't be in there taking photos when people are in trying to have a good time. See, there were certain days you could come in and do photo shoots. Then you had to have the models come in mm. and we had to get out there. A lot of schedules had to line up. So we're like, well, we're not going to model, but how can you cut out some of these, you know, the, the middlemen mm. per se. So we said, well, dude, let's, let's have a show where mm. we drink beer, brewskis with the broskis and, um, like rate them and talk about them and it, it'll just be fun. And it's something that uh, is new. Right. We didn't. We couldn't really find people who were really doing and it. We've maybe found like one or two people on YouTube, but they were just so dry. They were dry. They. Like, were, I mean, they were really there for the information when we were, we were providing a little, maybe a little more entertainment, right, per se. Yeah. So we started Brewskis the Broskis um, with the intention of doing a tour across Michigan, where we'd go out for a month or so, line up all these episodes, mm. and we'd stop and do an episode where we'd film. At a brewery. At a brewery mm-hmm. with um, either the brewmaster or the founder of the brewery, whoever was free. Um, and sometimes it was the same person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So our first one was in Frankenmuth, Frankenmuth Brewery with Steve Bushka. Right. But let's back up here because before that happened, like we didn't even have, the, we did, we stopped making the Beer Michigan t-shirt before yeah. we even did that. Well, yeah, for a multitude of reasons. Mm-hmm. One being we had thebeermitten.com and we had the beer mitten instagram so we're pushing this great concept but we don't have the um like the you know the handles behind it which which kind of made it a pain in the ass cuz when people want to find a beer michigan shirt they're going to google beer michigan mm-hmm. and not the beer mitten so that was a problem and then go ahead. so i was just going to say just before we started with brucies with the broskies we did we did some photo shoots at a handful of breweries yeah. with uh, the beer Michigan the Mitten design Brewing in Grand Rapids. Yep, area. Mitten Brewing Co. We did one at the one that you stopped at when you and Brian were out there. Yep, um, Rebel, was it Rebel or something like that? It was behind the news station, and like Lexi and Josh met us there. Landon was out there. Hideout, hideout. Yep, great brew. Oh my god, what am I? That was they, cool. In the upstairs, they have um, uh, like. 10 Nintendo 64s mm-hmm. and all these retro games and dart boards. Yeah. And it's just in the middle of, like, yeah, the hideout. That's why it's called the hideout. They have free popcorn. One of the best stouts I've had to this day. The, they have like this peanut butter chocolate mm-hmm. stout. That was a cool place. That was a cool place. Kyler, we had a lot of people come out there and do, the, do a photo shoot with yep. us. Kyler came out, Caitlin Vaughn and her friend Jenna. Yep. 
came out. So that was a cool turnout. That was amazing. Played Jenga, played Jenga, had fun. But yeah, after a while, like you said, it was just a lot to line up. And we really weren't getting as big of a return on the amount of time we put into that. Right. We had, and, and not to mention, this is just uh, the beer stuff. You know, Scroove is still mm-hmm. the number one importance here. So, we, you know, there's two of us. We're both in college. So mm-hmm. we're full-time college students trying to run Scroove no, the beer mitten. I'm graduated. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. But still. Okay. Um. Yeah, because we did Scroove after I graduated. Okay. Um, but anyways, where were you going with that? Um, I don't know. It, it was just a lot to line up. That's how we kind of came up with Brewskies with the Broskies. Yeah, we had a Because we wanted to do things. something we with had, more control. Yeah, we wanted control over production so we could be consistent and not have to line up as many schedules. So we started Brewskies with the Broskies, and our first episode was with Steve Bushka, um, Franklin with Brewery, Brewmaster. That guy's a legend. We will have him on the podcast someday, and he gave us a lot. Um, you know, gave us kind of a, a, a shot with them because Frank and Muth Brewery is the second oldest brewery in the nation next to Yangling. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, these guys are a big deal and they took a shot on us. <laughs> so it, and we just had a blast with them and they, they've sold beer mitten shirts there before. And so it, it was a good relationship. Well, we did it a few days before the Frank and Muth Beer Expo, yep, yep. which are like, Hey dude, Hey, this is what we do. Do you want to sit? Do you just want to have a beer with us? Talk about it on camera. Yeah. We'll plug Frank and Muth Brewery. We got the Frank and Muth Beer Expo. He's like, oh yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. So super cool guy. He was super down to earth and just had a great time with it. Yep. And then we sold a ton of beer mitten shirts there during the beer expo, but they were really key in um, other breweries. Oh, Frank and Muth did it. Yeah, we'll do it. Mm-hmm. Like it, so, these guys played a big role, whether they really realized it or not. So, uh, you know, thanks a lot to Steve. And then that's, you know, somewhere along the lines we decided we were going to spend the summer um, touring the state because I was finishing my junior year at the time probably. Mm -hmm. Um, Tour the state. We're going to set up all these appointments and just hit as many breweries that will take us. Mm -hmm. Drink with the brewer, the Mm -hmm. brewmaster, the founder, whoever we can get, publish the video, and not charge anything, just build a relationship. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So that was the plan. So that was like May when we did – Shot that with Frank and with Brewery. Yes. And we came out, like, I remember when we did that, like, we had the beer mint design, like, maybe three or four days. We just came out with it. Yeah, because Printed we it on the, a bunch we, of shirts. We, well, we wanted to pivot from the beer Michigan to the beer mitten. So um, there's two things we wanted to incorporate was we wanted the UP involved because most Michigan shirts and beer shirts don't include the UP, and there's breweries up there. So we wanted to include the UP and I'm like, well, it'd be really cool if like the 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 mitten was like a mug or like holding the mug. And, and eventually, we made a bunch of sketches, and we called our my good friend from college, Jacqueline Solms, who had an extremely talented artist, and said, you know, we, we need you to bring this to life. So she took our shitty <laughs> drawings and made it what it is today. You came up with a pretty good concept, and she yeah, brought she it brought it to it life because. You know, our art skills aren't on point, but so she did an excellent job. And that was like when we were still screen printing stuff. So she finally, like, she had it done. We're on a tight ass budget. Right. We're on a tight budget. We're on a tight schedule because we wanted to have it done in time for the beer expo because we wanted to wear it out at the beer expo because it's a huge event in Frankenmuth. Yeah. We wanted to try and sell them, which we sold some out of a backpack. We wanted to give them away. So we came up with that and it was like a few days before. But uh, rewind back to just the beer Michigan real quick. We wanted to pivot from that, and we kind of had to because I think it was actually a couple of days before my birthday, and I remember we um, were sending the email like on my birthday before we went up mm-hmm. north, but we got a, a email from- We this, didn't have to. We, we chose we, to. Yeah, we did instead of trying to fight it. So they like- Pure Michigan actually yeah, got a hold of just us. Just the state of Michigan. They yeah. said, hey, stop printing that. You guys are- They, they said we were an, infringing on- Their, their trademark. Their trademark. Which- um, the plan was always, and if that happened, we just adjust. We, we, take we the knew words that was a out. risk. Yeah, it was a possibility. Mm. So we would just take the words peer out and then just move the word beer down. And by then the design had its desired effect and people would get the, the play on the words. So at that point we had a decision. We could A, fight it. Mm. Very well could have won. Um, but I mean, our resources were very minimal. And it really time. wasn't worth our time. We were no, like, we had the effect we wanted. Right. We'd, we'd spearheaded the craft beer industry. We had a reputation. You had like 4,000 followers on Instagram. Yep. So then that, that's when we converted to the beer mitten because it, it, it was just easier at the time. Yeah, it was. It's like, why fight that battle? Yeah. Why spend our time and resources? Like, dude, we can do the beer Michigan anytime we want. Right. It's like, okay. We'll, we'll bring it back when it's ready. Right. Exactly. 
that's what a lot of people ask. Like when you guys come right back with the beer Michigan t-shirt, cause a lot of people like it. Um, we're like, all right, let's go with beer mitt. Now we have this idea, right? You know, we have this Instagram, we have this domain, and we it have was this strong. So it sold. Yeah. And it, and it did phenomenal. So beer Michigan mm-hmm. to the beer mitt. And, and then we lined up. When do you think we did that? July, maybe the tour. Yeah. The brewskis with the broskis tour. Cause we did like episode one was with Steve Bushka. Pretty sure episode, episode two, two was on Lake Panema. Yeah, it was on Lauren's boat yep. on the on the roof of the pontoon double decker pontoon boat. And then we're up I think there drinking. Episode three, we were we at were a brewery. It. Yeah. So, so yeah, and then I don't know when that would have been. Yeah, I think summer. it was maybe late June, yeah. early July, because we're like, all right, we want to go travel. We want to go to Grand Rapids. We want to go up to Traverse City because there's a lot of breweries up there. Yeah. We had our cousin Michael up there, and we're like. I had the Envoy at the time. I'm like, mm-hmm. all right, let's convert the Envoy into something that we can live out of. Right. Yep. So we made a bed in the back mm-hmm. of the Envoy that could fold up, had hinges on it. It could fold up if we want to put the second seat up. It was lofted. It had these little um, mm-hmm. little legs <laughs> that we shaved down like inch by inch by inch until um, when all the seats were folded down, there was enough of a loft to fit a suitcase and um, totes Shirt. of shirts yep, yep. under the loft. But then if we wanted, we wanted to be able to use the second seat if we had people with us. Yeah. <laughs> so we hinged it and it was reinforced up the middle. Um, and then we could slide the whole thing out, fold it on itself, push it back in. And then we could use the second seat. Mm. So it was a really crafty little design and it worked it, it famously. <laughs> and then I we know just what, whipped not, together. Now I remember when it was. We were at the Rex cabin for the fourth, right? That was the first time we used it. Was that the fourth? Why were we up there? Because uh, that, remember, that was the first time we slept in it. Yeah. I had to. It wasn't Memorial Day. No. It wasn't Memorial Weekend. No. Yeah. We were up there for the 4th. Okay. It was. So it I was think you're right, right after yeah. the 4th of July that we started this tour. Yeah. That was the first night. We were, we got it done just in time. And we're we like, slept in it there. They're like, hey, we have a house. We're like, no, yeah, we want to sleep. sleep in this damn thing. <laughs> and it was the middle of, like, oh, beginning so of July. So <laughs> it was so, I mean, just. I, <laughs> Two guys. I, I got a tan. Two guys. So, yeah. Picture this. We're in this Envoy XL. And court. I mean, our our faces are probably what yeah. two inches from the ceiling. Yeah, this like is the lofted. tips of our nose. Yeah, I mean, we're just like oh, you breathe <laughs> and it comes back down on you. And me and Tyler are sleeping right next to each other, yeah. and it was like me and Tyler aren't the biggest guys in the world, thank God. And it was like the perfect size for just me and you, perfect sleeping next to each other. Um, we would string a, a like a rope up. Mm. And put um, my iPad, hang it, and mm. download episodes of The Office so we could watch TV and movies. And well. we had many battery-powered oh. fans and, like, USB-powered fans that were, like, three inches wide oh. that would try and keep us We'd cool. pop the back windows open and, like, try and pivot them up. The, you know, but but up the there. trick was you couldn't pop the back windows open too early in the night because the mosquitoes would, the mosquito would get full of this mosquitoes. This was a game that we got very good at playing. So it was like... We figured out how to do this, and we're like, all right, this is going to be fun. Like, we were stoked to do it, you know? And it was fun. And it was a great time. So we took, uh, after the 4th, yeah. we went up to Traverse City for, yeah. like, a week or two and just hit a bunch of breweries up there mm-hmm. and worked with them and slept in the back of the Envoy yeah. and on the little hey, bed. How are we on time real quick? Are uh, they still rolling? Yeah, we're at 24 minutes. We can, re- we can restart the camera real quick. Yeah, let's do that. All right. I'm going to restart the audio, too. Or no? Okay, restarting the cameras for all the audio listeners out there. Sorry about that silence. Hang in there. We'll get a crew someday soon. So, yeah, you guys keep uh, telling people about the podcast, and we can uh, afford a crew. Yeah, that's right. So, up in Traverse City, yep. living out of the Envoy, having a good time. Yep. We worked with North Peak with uh, Dave Hall. Is that his name? Yep. Oh well, before we hit Traverse, we uh, went West Coast and hit um, Pigeon Hill and Unruly. Oh, um, yes, yep. yes, yes. Those Eric Hoffman and Unruly was great. Um, yeah, we hit those guys. Yep. Then, then yep. we jogged up mm-hmm. and then we hit Traverse City. Mm-hmm. Hit North Peak up there. Uh, what was one that was on the railroad tracks? Um, I, I can't think off the top of my head, but we had a rare burden with Tina. Rare bird, yep. Um, and all these people gave us a bunch of beer too. Oh my god! Which are like, hey, you know, give us. We were like, give us a beer. We'll take a couple photos, we put it on so our Instagram. So we got all this free beer, and we're just loving it. We're like, dude, this is awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. You know, it was awesome. Getting paid in craft beer, which mm-hmm. like we're stoked on. So we're up there, and yeah, worked with them. Uh, worked with the workshop. 
workshop. Yep, that was cool. There's a lot. I can't even remember. This There's, was a long time ago. This yeah, was a lot of, this was a lot of beers ago. That was a lot of beers ago. But we were up in the Envoy, sleeping in that tight quartered yep. truck, and we would just go shower. Like there was like that little uh, yeah. that little inlet at the bottom of Traverse City. Yeah. Which Traverse City Bay is like super clear oh, and beautiful. Clear. So we would Shower go there every day. Yeah, we'd just go down there and brush the teeth, brush our teeth out of the back of the truck, and jump in the water, take a bar of soap yep. or some soap with us, and go clean off in the water. But our cousin Michael would let us park uh, at his place. With, yeah, you know, so we had a we have a bonfire with him and stuff. So he and anytime get some, we go to Traverse City, he's such a great host. You know? And get some real indoor plumbing some too. Real take a shower. Plumbing, take a real shower. Mm-hmm. Um, I have to so, dig a hole in the ground. You have to take a poop. <laughs> that's right. So the beer mitten, um, that was that. And that kind of, we, we continued through my college career to film brewskis with the broskis. Mm-hmm. We kept the episodes coming, but the photo shoots kind of slowly died off in the post because um, screw, because of Scroove's growth, we had to, you know, decide where our energy was going. And mm-hmm. it's always been Scroove. We didn't want to just create a Michigan beer brand that's super limited to what we've wanted, but it was a good kickstart tool. Mm-hmm. Um so we had stopped posting on it for a while, mm. but uh, now that we're, you know, we're both full time, and I graduated in May, and we're getting really efficient with our stuff and scheduling, um, we're kind of getting it back going again. Mm. But it was because Screw really picked up pretty heavily. Mm. Um, that time got pulled away from the beer mitten and right. became less of a um, priority. Know, priority. Yeah, we did episodes in the apartment because we built that bar. Yep, and we'd have our friends, and we'd get up behind the bar, and we'd. Review the beer. We'd bring that was guest a, reviewers. It was fun. Yeah, it was a great time. Our friends would just like drink the beer, give their opinion. We'd we'd give our opinion on the beer. We'd have little cheat sheets about all yeah, the different so if you tasty go back and notes. Watch the episodes, <laughs> we didn't know craft beer as well as we should have. So we had a big pad of paper on the bar level below, uh-huh. and it had all the tasting notes on it. So we'd take a drink, and go like this. Look down. It looked like you were just taking a drink, but you'd read the cheat sheets. Yeah. So you had a um, something witty to say. So you sounded somewhat educated. But yeah, we didn't really know a whole lot. So that was a good time, and like the the beer mitten was great for uh, getting us in a lot of the Michigan stores too. Yep. So we're carried in ten retailers in Michigan, and the beer mitten design a lot of them love, and it does really well in the retailers. So they'd say, "Oh, we'll do the beer mitten," and then they'll be like, "Oh, and I'll take that screw." De- like if we just walked in with just a screw design, we might not have gotten the opportunity for them to look through our full catalog. Mm-hmm. But the beer mitten um, was a great front runner that you know broke down our beard entry. We got right in. Mm-hmm. And then they, we would just upsell Scroove, and yeah. it worked out really well. And a lot of the stores, they all still carry it. So they still, like we just filled an order to Sally's Casual Wear up in yep. Gaylord yep. with a bunch of beer mint designs and Blue Veranda just ordered a bunch. We just dropped some off at the stable. Yep. Like, they love the beer mint, and the beer mint does really well. And yeah, just recently we started picking it back up and yep. posting on like the beer mint Instagram because it has 5,500 followers, and it's a, it's a really good loyal audience, you yep. know, and it's cool to just kind of get people involved and be around that craft beer uh you know, industry still, but yep. yeah, it was a cool learning experience and it was just fun to do. Go it's around, fun. drink beer with all these founders and get to know the founders and the brewmasters and hear their stories and get some free beer. Get free beer. You can't beat it. And yeah, Steve Bushka, Frank and Muth Brewery, uh, we're trying to get him on the podcast because he's got an awesome story. He's a great guy. We'll save it for the podcast. Fun guy to be around. You don't you don't want me to no. drop what no, uh, we'll save his it. claim to fame is? Okay. No. All right. Well, we'll save that then. But uh, that was the start of our nomadic um, vehicle travel adventures, which eventually led into the van, which we will uh, we'll tell you guys about next time. Absolutely. So uh, from Envoy, getting totaled, bought the van, and we'll cover Fran 2, her story, how we came about getting her, and the adventures we'd had with Fran on episode Probably 11. 11, probably. Yep, because we're filming an episode tomorrow with the photographer Zach Hagee. Yep. So stay tuned till next Tuesday's uh, Watch Your Screw. We'll dive into Fran 2. That's right. And I think we're about to go live for some. Yeah, we have more. Like, this is what we want to be doing. Every Tuesday, we want to film a Watch Your Screw with me and Tyler and tell a little story, tell experiences that we've had. Give you guys little tidbits of information because a lot of people ask us these stories. Yep. These so, are really frequently asked questions. Right. So we, that's why we're covering them. Absolutely. And we, uh, you know, good memories to reminisce on, look back yep. on. So we want to start off the podcast like that and then dive into uh, Q&As because a lot of people kind of ask us the same questions and people. We're happy to answer them. Huh? We're happy to answer yeah, them. Yeah, absolutely happy to answer them. So now we'll dive into the Q&A. We'll go live like we did last week on Facebook and Instagram. Take your guys' questions, and we have some pre-submitted questions as well. Yeah, keep sending those in. 
uh, text, DM, Snapchat, email, screw, uh, what the duck at screw code mm-hmm. um, send those in anytime you have a question and mm-hmm. then we'll get to it one time. And I think we're going to start doing favorite question, random question, best question. We're going to like, yeah, we're going to start giving away uh, care packages to random submitters mm-hmm. or if there's a really good question, maybe they get it. Um, so the more questions you submit, you could win some free stuff. Absolutely. So stay tuned and tune into the live Facebook and Instagram. Yes, please. Next do. Tuesday. We'd love to have you. I'm gonna probably do it around like seven thirty. I think is kind of what probably. our aim is yeah. for. But we'll follow, dial that down. Follow us on social and you'll know. All right. Well, let's, let's get that going. Let's get into it. Test one two. Audio's working. We're good. Audio's here. Gina's live. What's up, Gina? Cole. What's up, Cole? Hey, so McAllen. McAllen, what? 12. McAllen 12. Wow, the fancy stuff. Only the best for you guys. So we got some pre ass Q&A. Oh, can I get some more? <laughs> you got to make sure I don't get skimped on the whiskey. Oh, it's Gina. Not, or, sorry, my bad. You know more about this. Gina. Oh, you got two accounts, Gina. Nice. Mikel. We got some Facebook uh, viewers. <sighs> Uh, is Gina on Facebook too? Gina is watching on all fronts right now. I, I love respect that. that. All yeah. right, and we're back to episode nine of What's Your Screw? The Q and A. Stin. Hello, all. All right, let's go live on Facebook. That Alex. I think it's Al. Um, one of the Esther boys joined. So yeah, we talked about on the first half of the podcast, we told the story of the beer mitten, Brucey's with the Broskis, how that came about. Yes. And now we're getting ready to dive into pre-asked questions, which Tyler has a handful yes. that I haven't heard yet. And I have a few. Tyler's got way more than I do. Yes. So these are- Tyler's got more friends than I. <laughs> these are unknown to Kenny. So that's a new dynamic. All right. Um, Landon says he can't hear us. On what? What's he on? Uh. Oh, yeah, on the uh, Instagram. Is anybody else having... Yeah, Austin said that, or Al said that, too. All right. All right, one second. I don't want to spill. Bear with us. Uh, of the gods. I can't hear you. Landon said Nick's are not on. I think he meant Mike, though. All right, we have to, we're have we toying with it. That Just a second. Bear with us. Uh, oh, you turned it off. I'm going to put a bottle cap in front of it, too, so it doesn't fall. All right. Uh, audio. Be Bear with us right here. Bottle cap right here. There's tape over there if you need to tape it up. Uh, audio, stick with us because Tyler right now is trying to rig up the iPhone so we can uh, be on Instagram live without the mic being covered up so we can hear it. This is a learning process. That looks good. Yeah, we look like we're both in it, so that's good. Yep. All right, we are back on Instagram. Speak up a little bit we're back on Instagram. We're back. All right. All right, is it live? Is it going? It's live. It All good. right, Tyler Lindsay joined. That's me. Esther joined. All right, is that better? Al, some feedback, guys. Can you hear us? Al or Austin? I don't know whose Instagram that is. Can you hear us now? Is that better? We need your Landon. Feedback. Hey, Landon, can you hear us? All right, yes, they can hear us. Amy Rack, what's up, Amy? All right, guys, let's go to some of the pre-recorded questions. Um, Alyssa Marin asks, if you could drink one drink for the rest of your life, would it be beer or whiskey? Hi, Alexis. Um, you go first. Uh, it'd be whiskey. Really? Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd, have to, I'd have to go with whiskey, too. Whiskey's a lot uh, easier to drink. Yeah. And it's less fattening, I guess. Yeah, right? yeah. I guess if, if there was such thing as healthy alcohol, that, that counts. Let us know. And you feel drinking. a lot more fancy drinking you whiskey, do. too. You, uh, you know, not that we don't feel fancy enough with our fur coats on already. Um, let's see. What's up, Abby? I have to keep bouncing back and forth between the Facebook and the questions. Thanks, here. Alexis. Um, all Lexi. right. Kevin Loss, when are we going to start making baby clothes? Uh, we should do like custom orders on those. Yeah, I mean, people have asked us before to make uh, clothes for their babies, but uh, if you guys want something specific, we can get that done. Email us, be like, hey, 
I need a toddler. What? what are like they? a one T. Yeah, what a, one T. I need a one T for my kid. We, we can probably do that. Um, Ian, is this a crusty crab? No. This is, <laughs> <laughs> no, this is Patrick. Um, what do you and I think about when we drive alone? Think about or talk about Edison wants to know. Like when we're on these long uh, travel drives. I don't know. It's really what I like is constantly on my mind is the business really it never stops. Yeah. I just always am thinking about it, what we want to be doing next. And I find inspiration in a lot of different things too. So we get into really deep, heavy, um, brand conversations mm-hmm. on anything over like an hour drive. We really get into some, um, strategic thinking and things like that. So that's one thing. That and we do. also, one thing we do too, is we will just go off in weird tangents and just laugh really hard about stupid stuff. Oh my God. Um, we'll see if we, uh, release these someday, but there are like when we were younger a couple of years ago, we would just do like audio recordings of our like ridiculous band on <laughs> these long trips. So maybe we'll release that someday. Into a podcast. Yes. Gina asked how much for Kenny's jacket. Jacket priceless. is not priceless. Jacket is not for sale. It's priceless. It's priceless. This Come cost on. me so much money. And by the way, I just picked up another sweet jacket today at Goodwill. It's a gem. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to wear it. All right. Alex, Austin, and Cole, I got your questions mixed up because they were through Snapchat, so I didn't like get your handles on them. So these came from the same house. What's the best song to get the boys fired up for a pregame and why? I think Alex asked that, but okay. I could be wrong. What do you think? My my favorite song, without fail, Lose My Mind by Jeezy. Gets me so hyped. We have a great uh, Uber story about that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Lose My Mind yeah, down in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, that, that sure song gets me that. hype, working out, getting ready to go out on the night with the boys just that is a great song um for me it depends on the group but if i was with you clowns it'd probably have to be god maybe a little bohemian rhapsody if we get jack on lead vocals that might uh that gets the boys primed up so that's a good one um favorite austin powers movie and why number two austin powers um the spy who shagged <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> um, i love that movie i feel like the the jokes like there's just Actually, I think the real reason why I love it, this is a good question, because when I had tore my ACL, I Al had, loved it. Huh? I loved your answer. I, it's the best one. <laughs> when I tore my ACL, I had the reconstructive surgery, and they put you on, uh, they put me on Percocets afterwards, and I really had no experience with like these- um, Laxatives? These, yeah, laxatives, <laughs> these opiates. <laughs> so this was new to me, because even for my wisdom teeth, like the Norcos they gave me made me feel not good, so I didn't take them really. So- these Percocets kicked my ass. And I remember being just in a ton of pain on these pills for my knee. And I watched Austin Powers 2, Internet, uh, The Spy Who Shagged Me. And mm. I thought it was just the funniest. You know, it just it just clicked when I was just on this shit. So mm. maybe that's why. Uh, mine's the third gold member. I don't know. I think it's hilarious. There's a lot of one-liners. It's a tough decision, but I think I think maybe because that was the first one I saw. That was the first one we both saw. We owned it. I think I got it for Christmas one year. And yes, true. Yeah, so Gold Member has a special place in my heart. Um. All right. Anything on Instagram? Uh, no questions on Instagram. Hey, if you have questions on Instagram Live, fire away. Ask us. And the more questions you have, the better chance you have of winning a oh, free yeah. Screw Care package. One mm. random question submitter will win a free uh, Screw Care package, so keep that in mind. Um. <laughs> I got a question. Yeah, go ahead. So Lexi asks, when will the tiny briefcase be making its Scroove debut? The tiny briefcase. <laughs> so I have this little briefcase that's a business card holder and it really <laughs> it really works. It has little like button flaps like a real <laughs> like a like a real bit uh briefcase. Yeah. And um we want to go to an airport with our like <laughs> like undercover cameras <laughs> and try and check this little bag it's probably what like three by five inches yeah right i mean it holds business yeah, cards yeah, so it's yeah. not very not even big. that big um and we want to try and check it and we know like tsa will not have any of it we want to have like this huge uproar that they won't check our and, and then we're going to get to our destination and act like you lost our luggage i have a little ribbon in a, on it i have a little ribbon on <laughs> yeah it. so we don't lose it a little pair of socks a little, pair of socks. <laughs> little like in the beginning of dinner for schmucks like that t-shirt that he, he's ironing like one of those in there uh, well, and we, I don't know how it got brought up, but like one of the weird tangents we go on, it was me, Tyler, Lexi, and Joe Castrava, and we were going to the X Games when it was in Grand Rapids for the Mastercraft Throwdown. Yes. 
and we were t- we started talking we were about that for about 10 minutes. and we were talking about that with them and laughing in tears and they were like they were just looking at us like what are you saying so yeah. funny. that was great <laughs> lexi just laughed um by the way this is some of the best scotch for under a hundred dollars where'd you get that from uh, uh, an anonymous donor <laughs> no kenny got it for me for graduating college so mccallan 12 i know everybody asks me all the time about favorites this is one of my favorites vitamin g this is either gina or this is an instagram account that's using gina's profile picture it's probably gina <laughs> <laughs> do you use a spoon when you eat spaghetti no i use a uh, mechanical rotating fork so i don't have to spin it myself i just uh lady in the tramp style me and my date <laughs> we suck the noodles in but they do it like that <laughs> yeah, yeah. a lot more romantic than that. <laughs> yeah. i'm a tiger baby <laughs> yeah um G- uh, gino what's the square root of 69 i don't know eight something <laughs> <laughs> do we have any questions on the facebook um i don't know i keep bouncing back and forth <laughs> uh, who asked that question <laughs> my buddy gino from college <laughs> I don't think we have anything on Facebook. It doesn't look like it. Um, as long as this is all buffered up. Um, all right. Where do babies <laughs> no, come from? I, I don't know. I ate something. Uh, where do babies come from? Uh, Marissa McClure. I had some classes with her in college. Um, Honey, the baby's the, here. Yeah, have you seen the Grinch? <laughs> the stork. The, I, they just come down in a uh, basket a basket with the, uh, the umbrella. I think the Grinch is your best reference if you're wondering where babies come from um this is a great question do you have something on on there yeah i got something right, go ahead so we have an anonymous question i heard and this is really appropriate this got brought up uh because we talked about brucies with the broskies but someone asked us i heard the cons have great moonshine when will cocktails with the cons be available or get recorded <sighs> yeah there's a video series in the works or in the thought process of the works that we're going to um <laughs> drink cocktails with convicts, current and ex-convicts, and uh, hear their life stories. And we're going to call it Cocktail with the Cons. So if there's enough demand for that, we'll we will definitely do it. If we can get in touch with enough convicts. And if you guys know enough convicts, send them our way. Oh, I Give could, them our address. I could. Uh, <laughs> we could have the guy on from Gina's podcast that I was oh, roofing the house with. That hated, yeah, the guy that hated Here Comes hated, the Sun. All right, hey, Jeff Long joined. <laughs> Jeff Long loved the glasses Tyler Sue is what he said. <laughs> Jeff Long, old college roommate. Oh my god! Wait, here we go. Here's a good one, Lexi, Tyler and Kenny, or Kenny and Tyler. That's an awesome question. That is, a, that, you know, what's so funny about that is, growing up, um, because I was younger, it was just always Kenny and Tyler, always. And then, once he left college, all I heard was Tyler and Kenny, and it was such a shock. Well, I know the me. answer. It's who they meet first. It's who they meet first. Usually, it, it is. I mean, but, usually. Yeah, if they but meet. that was such a shock for me growing yeah. up. It was always Kenny and Tyler. That's Gina always says Tyler and Kenny because yeah. she met you first. Yeah, so um, yeah, whoever you meet first or uh, whoever you like more. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so let's see, Here Cole. We... What are Saturdays for? The Saturdays boys for the boys. The boys. That's a good question. Mikel, favorite beer. Um, like, I was, uh, too hearted or all day IPA. Mm. That's what I have to say. You know, I answered this in the last one, and, and I'm probably going to go on my, step on my own toes with with the wrong answer or a different answer. You got it depends on the mood, but uh, mm. um, one of my favorites that I'm looking for this summer is a the Whitson by Arcadia. Mm, it's kind of like Oberon, but it's a little more citrusy, and it's just a great beer. So I'd say the Whitson. Um, what do you got? Uh, Abby said, hashtag my brother's an ex-con. All right, so we have a couple guests lined oh, up for Cocktails perfect. with the Cons. Yeah, tell us his favorite drink. And the, th- and the thing is, no, and the thing is, we have to have the super fruity drinks with these cons. Oh, yeah. With the convicts. Yeah. Like we're drinking- uh, Mojitos? Yeah, mojitos, some yeah. strawberry daiquiris, which I love a good strawberry daiquiri. Yeah, comment your favorite drink. Uh, just get the conversation flowing. TFD ha- underscore 04. Y'all ready for the Super Bowl? Hell yeah. Pat Nation, baby. Tom Brady, our boy, Bill Balachek. I got to tell you, this isn't a bandwagon fan scenario. My brother, since he was, he was always older. So since we were young, just growing up, he'd always been attracted to the Patriots before they were even, you know, who they are today. Mm -hmm. So naturally, my older brother liked the Patriots. So I like the Patriots. So we've all along been big Pat fans. Mm -hmm. And Tom the Bomb, just such Mm -hmm. a competitor. So yeah, we're ready for the Super Bowl. If anybody uh, wants us to come crash their Super Bowl party. Feel free to let us know. We might make an appearance. Yeah, we'll be driving the helicopter around. Bring our coats. Tom the Bomb's going to get his ring number six. Yep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. TFD says, uh, 
I think the Eagles are going to win with the last minute touchdown. We will see. Never count out the Patriots. Last year, the greatest Super Bowl ever. Yes. Ever. 28 to 3. Came right, back Jeff, and won. Right, Jeff Long? And Jeff was <laughs> Is there. Is Jeff still here? Is he still in, I wonder? Uh, I don't know. I can't. I don't think I can see when Jeff Long knows leave. sports better than anybody I've met. Jeff, if you're still here, um, who's winning the Super Bowl in the meantime? Um, Abby asks, <laughs> favorite non mainstream holiday? For me, this one's easy. Oh, yeah. Fourth of July? No, I, that's mainstream. Oh, Pirate Day? National Talk Like a Pirate Day. Yeah. Um, yeah, you just go around talking and acting like a pirate. Let's talk about pirates for a second. Yeah, we love pirates. Pirates are the best. It's um, I don't know where our love for pirates stemmed, but I think it's partially like, uh, you know, they just travel the open seas. Like we have our van, you travel the open road. You know, there's a there's an honor amongst thieves. Yeah, you yeah. know, just it's just beautiful. Living, and they have a code, right? You know, they like they they pillage and plunder, but they have a code. Yeah, and yeah. there's something just beautiful about that. And yeah, they're on the ocean. They go on all these adventures. Tracy said May the Fourth. That's an excellent one. Uh, Star Wars Day, May the Fourth. May the oh, 4th be yeah, that you. is a good day. I, I big I Star Wars fans. That. Yep. Lexi said party at Tom's house. Go Pats. Yep. Okay. Yeah, if, Lexi, if you're gonna be there, uh, you might have to come party. Maybe open up the pool for a day. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Hannah Wilson asks, why am I so cool? I think, or why are you so cool, meaning me? I did not make this up. This is a real question. This is not a self-fulfilling ego boost. Um, years of practice. Uh, <laughs> no, just, <laughs> no, hey, hey, you learn from, such a, learn from such a cool older brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, learn from a lot of mistakes. <laughs> Talking to myself in the mirror a lot. No, uh, uh, Thomas Keen joined. What's up, Thomas? Thomas, all right, since you joined, we're going to ask your question, which potentially... Um, maybe one of the best business related questions we got, um, Thomas, one of my oldest friends since kindergarten, um, we go way back. If you could be business partners with one famous person in the world, excluding each other, who would it be and why? Mm. Oh, I think, uh, who I would choose is Rob Durdeck. That guy is a branding mastermind. He's a marketing mastermind. I love that guy. I love what he's done, what he's created. I love so, Rob Durdeck, uh, yeah. Rob Durdeck is my my vote. Uh, for me, I think uh, hands down it would be uh, The Rock. Mm. This guy is just such a just a animal. Mm. Ninety eight million followers mm. on Instagram, something like that. Last time I mm. checked, nobody dislikes The Rock. He's a hustler. He's a hard worker. You know, very entrepreneurial. He's got a great story. I think it would be uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson for me. If you're uh, listening, uh, send me an email, man. Gina, yeah, we love pirates. How to get a girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that, everybody, okay, you know what? I'm going to answer a frequently asked question that not, did not get asked. Everybody asked, what's with the rings? Show me rings. Oh, pirate rings, These man. Are pirate rings. We're bringing them back. Pirates, you see any it's, pirate It's fashion, movie? dude. Yeah, they always wore it's rings. The, it's what the coat is. It's what the hat. It's yeah. fashion. Yeah, get so with it. Pirate rings. Take it from the guys that own a clothing brand. <laughs> That's right. Tyler Rainey joined. What's up, Tyler Rainey? Um, inspiration behind the logo. Uh, simple design. Ellie Bronson asked this. Inspiration behind the logo. Um, simple, strong designs like the Apple logo. Like the, we just love simple mm. things. And um, something I used to doodle in my artwork as a kid. Uh, little ducks in science class, and mm -hmm. uh, it just kind of came about. So yeah, full story in last uh, podcast. Yeah, dive more into that. Full story a lot of these logo. questions are repeats, but they're good uh, ones. Yeah, but we know people aren't listening to the podcast. Yeah, we need more listeners. <laughs> uh, Lexi. What are some of your favorite screw photo shoots? Well, you know, any photo shoot with you, Lexi, That's of course. Right. Uh, uh, I like the one we did at our pool was with her and Tina. It was really fun. We got so many good shots out of that. I think mm -hmm. when I finished, we had over 2,000 photos on my camera. and That, that was that was good. One. Yeah, the video was cool. Uh, Marcus just joined DJ Consequence. Um, all right, Abby asks, <laughs> what songs are better to play at <laughs> weddings when trying to get pe old people uh, up and dance? Out in their billy. Oh, man. I like Elton John I think, I more than say, Billy Joel. I gotta say Billy Joel. I see, you get for the longest time on there. Ain't nobody in that wedding reception ain't gonna be do hopping to it. <laughs> I will lose my shit to uh, Benny, Benny and the and Jets. The Jets. Great Je music video. Uh, <laughs> Marcus, take it from a DJ that DJ's weddings, old time rock and roll. Bob Seger. Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Long, I love dark roast coffee, no sugar. I know Kenny takes the sugar in there, but what about you, Ty? <laughs> <laughs> I can hear him saying that. Yeah, I know I can. Yeah, no, I uh, I take it. Yeah, I take it neat, like my whiskey. <laughs> I and Jeff, I don't like sugar in my coffee. <laughs> just <laughs> okay. my just my woman. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Abby asks favorite exercise to watch yourself do in the mirror. 
bicep curls. All <laughs> you roll those sleeves up about 12 notches yeah. and you just dig in. What yeah, that's you? a good answer. Yeah, I, I don't think you can beat biceps. Jeff Krause, do you have something? No, did he? Jeff, Jeff, Jeff submitted a question? Jeff S2. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Beethoven's fifth or ninth symphony? <laughs> oh, fifth. I don't, even know what his, I don't even know what his ninth is. Fifth, dude, I took one classical music course in college and I just do, 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 do. That dude, yeah, yeah. That. Beethoven's fifth. Dude, gotta sure. be. Yep. I don't even know what Beethoven's ninth symphony I, uh, is. Not notable. <laughs> Should have been better. I'd remember it. <laughs> <laughs> Gina, you're wearing a Kenny, you're wearing a cowboy hat, so can we hear a southern accent? Howdy, y'all. I'm not good at accents. Tyler is. What? <laughs> hey, little old me. <laughs> yeah, like, she went for a guy, but we give her a girl. I'm a accent. girl. Tracy asked, what, what do we have for plan for the spring break? Well, that's a great question. <laughs> Unfortunately, neither of us are in college anymore. So if anybody wants to let us piggyback their spring break, if uh, the, uh, any of the SVSU guys are still in here, we'd love to come along. <laughs> I'm sure we can find some people. I'm sure we can. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, but Scrooby Adventures... Stay tuned. We can't reveal that yet, but there's some big things on mm-hmm. the platform. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see here. Uh, so, Tori Davis asks, favorite photo shoot prop slash spot? Uh, I think it would have to be, like we said last week, um, the Hamtramck Surf Shack, the Airbnb we shot yeah, in. Yeah, that was pretty sure. cool. I agree. Straight out of the 70s. I just wanted to point out, Maria also asked us our favorite kind of beer. But mm. since we went favorite beer with Mikel, we'll go favorite kind of beer. Because mm. that's what she said. Mm. Um, for I, me, I love wheat beers. I love IPAs. IPAs, all right. David, Allison, Howdy, Ola. Who? David uh, Jensen. Oh, excellent. Allison Mackey. Uh, Allison, yeah. ask your brother if he wants to be on the podcast. Yeah, come on. Pressure him into it. Come on, guys. Get it going. <laughs> um, favorite memory with the girls? The girls being Mia, Jackie, Stacy, Alyssa, and Maria. If you follow 60 Seconds, you've seen them plenty of times. Mm. Um, favorite memory? I mean, our whole college experience. Is yeah. Um, I don't know. Our, a recent one, the birthday. Our, me and Alyssa's birthday was a good That time. was fun. New Year's Eve was fun. New Year's Eve. I think uh, one of my favorites, though, will have to be uh, the canoe trip we took. And Stacy tipped everybody's canoe. Yeah, and there was a mouse in the canoe, and it happened to get on video. And then Jackie petted it. Yeah, so we might have them on and tell that story. Yep. Um, if they're lucky. Jackie has favorite trait about each other. Mm. Uh, I, I like Tyler's sense of humor. And uh, yeah, his sense of humor, his impressions crack me up. Yeah, I like uh, I like Kenny's ability to basically uh, always have a good attitude and laugh at all my jokes. And it keeps me coming back. <laughs> I, so. like, I like laughing. I always come swinging for the fences. All right. Jack Verhill, Lexi's brother. Hey, Kenny, when people first meet you, how old do people think you are with that six stash of yours? <laughs> That's a great question. I don't know. I've asked people before. I've heard anywhere from mid to late 30s. From so. Mid to late 40s. <laughs> I don't know. Everyone, late 40s. Everyone just says I'm wise, which I am. I'm an old soul. I'm wise beyond my years. Yes, that's no, true. I'm just kidding. I don't know. You'll have to ask the people that meet me. <laughs> um, let's see. If we could live anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Alyssa Marin. Mm. I want to really move out to California. I think California. It's hard to say. I'd love to. I've move never out been there. there but we've but never been there. I uh, somewhere I've been though. I'd probably say Colorado. I had a really good experience. Colorado's out there. cool. I love. I love what I think the lifestyle of California. It, it's entails the weather, the yeah. surf, the coast, just the opportunity that's out there. So, uh, Mia asks, "What were our MySpace usernames?" Mm. I think mine was just my name. I think so. I think but, mine was uh, too. my AOL uh, username was. Uh, um, Ty Fi Guy Eleven, T Y F Y G Y Eleven. I think mine was just like Mustang. Do you remember that? Oh my basketball. god! AOL Instant Messenger. You yeah. Have to get in your computer just to talk to people. I think it just died. They just put it in the ground. Two thousand seventeen. Yeah. In the coffin. It, aim went. Uh, finally, <laughs> finally closed it. Um, let's see. Any questions on Facebook? Um, I keep bouncing back. If anybody's looking for an internship, we could really use. Uh, Somebody to come in here and monitor these questions and the cameras for us. So we'll give you college credit. Yeah, we might have to get up and uh, redo the cameras here. Why don't you go ahead and do that right now while I pull up another question. All Stay right. tuned, guys. Don't go anywhere. All right. Keep talking so the people in the audio know that we're still here. Audio people. Jackie says the canoe trip and laughed. Um, Kenny, you do a great Nemo voice, Mom. <laughs> um, yeah. We got to get Kenny to do that. 
Uh, Tracing Northern. Any new styles coming up for the Screw Line? Yes, spring designs coming soon. Stay tuned. We still have people on Instagram. Uh, yeah, we got yeah we got some viewers. Okay, um, Gino will be our intern for everybody who I love that for everybody who stayed around this long. Um, we're gonna do a little something special for you. If you use discount code um, Beer Mitten twenty five, we'll give you twenty five percent off the Beer Mitten shirt that our dummy back there is wearing. So What's that'll the go code? live tomorrow. Beer Mitten twenty five. It'll go live tomorrow at noon. Mm. So Beer Mitten twenty five, twenty five percent off any Beer Mitten shirt. Type it in at checkout. Lexi, good question. What can Screw fans, supporters do to help promote Screw? That's an excellent question. Uh, a lot of you guys have bought stuff over the years. Obviously, that's a, that's an obvious way to support us. But more than that, um, right now we're putting a lot of time, money, and effort into the podcast. Download the podcast, listen to it, share anytime you can on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Tell your friends about it. If we can get downloads, views, mm-hmm. listens, that is the biggest thing we need right now. Absolutely, like Tyler said, we appreciate. Everybody that has bought stuff and does buy stuff. Please continue to buy stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. But, I mean, we know that, you know, funds can be tight and you can only buy so many t-shirts at a time. But, yeah, sharing our content and just making people aware about our brand. Yes. And the- and promote and just sharing the podcast and our 60 Seconds of Screw on social media is huge. Helping just get our followers up so that way people know we exist and if they want, they can buy into the brand with clothes or even just watch our content. So just... Just making people aware of the brand would be yes. awesome. Um, Thanks, Lexi. Yeah, good question. Great softball question. That, yeah, we didn't even it. ask her to ask that. That, that. was good. That's um, why Lexi is the best. The, the previous podcast, that is why. Um, bam, a zombie apocalypse hits, and uh, you have five people that, that like, no, I typed this wrong, but um, who, what five people would we choose to mm. help us survive? What? This is from Landon. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, I think it's actually really simple. I think I would take, um, uh, what's his name? Arnold Schwarzenegger in the Terminator. I would oh, take him uh. as the Terminator. I would take uh, Iron Man, uh, Tony Stark. Um, I'm sure this wasn't meant to be fictional, but this is how I would do it. <laughs> I would take Bruce Wayne oh, as Batman. You know, he's Batman. I think I would also take Wonder Woman because she's a babe. And uh, I'll take you, Landon. I take you. All right. I'm going to take. Uh, George Washington crossing the Delaware River version. That oh, way we can with the boat. That way we can navigate the is waters. The boat included? Absolutely, it that's has great. to be, because that's what he died in. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> anyway, uh, I think you had to take somebody from. I don't even watch the show that much, but The Walking Dead, because they, I think they have great experience in fighting well, zombie. Apocalypse. I haven't watched that in years, but the crossbow guy Daryl. That's who we'll take. Take Dick Daryl. Okay, go ahead. Uh, that's two. Uh, you know, I think I think you had to take like The Rock. Yeah. I mean, you know, he's just huge. Um, and he'd like keep morale up. Yeah, I'm not going to take anybody that you took. So, Walker, Texas Ranger. Oh, that's Chuck Norris. That's an excellent choice. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. <laughs> <laughs> John Wayne would have been a good one. Yeah. That Horse would've... back. You don't need fuel. Hmm. You just need, you know. Or John Ruth the Hangman from John uh... Ruth the Hangman. All right, here's a question for you. This is from Lexi's cousin, I believe, Matthew Dixon. All right, I might might have to read this slow to comprehend. If you were to place your consciousness into the blank body and mind of a clone, are you the same person in a new body, or are you a new person with the memories and personality of a ghost? Same person, new body. That's what I was thinking, too. Yeah, for sure. My mind is so strong, Will, that we'll just take over this new host. And I think that was my, what my that was a good question. That, that was, was an excellent uh, question. Really, it really made you think. Um, let's see, let's see. Addison, this might be your best question yet. If you could choose one song to play every time you walked into a room for the rest of your life, what would it mm. be? Oh wow. Uh, mine would be the I think I believe it's called uh, Bossa Nova. It's the Austin <laughs> Powers intro. The dude. I think it's got to be a song you can't get tired of. I would literally walk into every room to that if I could. A song I love is, I think, Benny and the Jets. It's super super timeless. I love it. It is timeless. Our boy Elton making a comeback. Um, He's doing his farewell tour. Mm -hmm. Go see that guy. 
Uh, do we think Anne Frank was would be upset that everyone read her diary, Ian? No, it made her famous, and uh, it was for a good cause. So, I mean, I think it's one of the most translated texts. Is it really next to the? I I could be way off, but I think like next to the Bible, it's one of the most translated texts um, of all time. I didn't know that. Maybe a dictionary, maybe, but I don't yeah, should be it's upset. up there. Jack Smith, Jack Smith, what's up, Jack? Gina's friend. He's in. Yeah, Jack rocks. Jack, ask us a question. Come on. Um, Do you have any? Are we out of the uh, pre-submitted I, questions? I, I kind of skipped around a lot. Oh, what? Uh, what they talk about in Joe Rogan? David, you did hashtag hashtag ten sixty eight. They hmm. talked about. Oh, is that uh, the consciousness question? Oh, it might have been. Might have been that. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's got to be. Uh... <laughs> Is that a pickup line, Jack? If you were a pirate, what shoulder would you wear your parrot on? <laughs> this one or this one? I think it'd have to be my left shoulder so I could fight with my right shoulder and swing my sword. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably my yeah, probably my left. Well, if we're standing next to each other. <laughs> They have to be right next to each other so they can talk. So I'll, I'll wear mine on my right. David said yes, so it must have been that question. All right, I'm going back to Facebook Live. If I've neglected you guys, I'm sorry, but there's a lot going on. What you get all? Did you get the? Uh, uh... Yeah, Zach McCotter asked an excellent question, but um, we're going to redact that one for now because uh, we didn't disclose that this was an explicit show. So <laughs> sorry, Zach. Maybe next time. Um, so you guys getting up early to catch the eclipse? What's the date today? Is that going on? I don't know. What? Who asked that? Um, Tracy. I don't what, know about what eclipse. eclipse. I saw that it looked like there was a full moon tonight. What is our must-have snack for Super Bowl parties? Mm. You can't beat the good old reliable, uh, like five foot sub. <laughs> 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 That's a that is a that is just timeless. Um, I'm gonna go with just like Doritos, <laughs> nacho cheese Doritos. I've always been a simple guy. I love Doritos, man. Any questions on Facebook or what? That uh, those were off of Facebook. Um, seriously, guys, uh, if anybody wants to intern for us, you guys can manage all this, and we wouldn't pay you. <laughs> Jack, no buffalo dip. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, oh, buffalo dip would be good. Oh, Kerry Kresnak makes an, a great buffalo dip. She did. What I just had over New Year's Eve too was Fritos and buffalo dip, oh my God. which changed my life. I, I want to know who invented that. It's a good combo, really good combo. Tori, where is Austin Powers? You know, I believe you when you said you gave those movies back to me, but they ain't my college box. I think they're tucked away somewhere. We had a movie night, all of us back in college. I think she's asking where the alter ego of Austin Powers is I at. don't know. Well, first off, real Austin Powers is lost. <laughs> the alter ego, you can catch him at the bar after enough drinks. And you bought a Austin Powers outfit oh from my uh, God. Goodwill. Thanks to Gina Salvation Army. and Abby and Gina's sister for guiding me through that journey. Yeah, for next Halloween, I might have the greatest... Austin Powers costume ever. True. Dylan, why did you start Scroove and who is the best addition to the team? Um, we started Scroove to create uh, a brand where we could um, work for ourselves and just try and inspire as much good and positivity and uh, happiness in the world all while living the life of our dreams. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that kind of sums it up, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, uh, this, Dylan. You've been a great addition to the brand. You, I don't know that there's a brand ambassador who has pushed more sales and traffic to our website than uh, you and alone. shared more content. And shared more content. So kudos to you. Mm -hmm. And, and you were the first person to get our tattoo. Yeah. So uh, you're definitely up there, my friend. Absolutely. You set the bar high, which I like. It all started out of just us wanting to have fun and be able to control our own lives for a living. Yep. And to help other people. That's so. true. That's right. Look what it's look what it's turning into. I guess. Yes, it's really weird to see yourself live, like with the delay. Like yeah, there's it a is. slight delay. I can wave to myself here, and then it's gonna come right. Tyler Santini is watching two. on Facebook. T -Sin. Oh, it's a big delay. All right. Well, if we're out of questions, we uh, might call it, Ty. I think we're gonna call it, guys. Thanks for all the great questions. Mm -hmm. Thanks for everybody. Who pre-submitted questions. Thanks for everybody who listened live uh, in the live comments. And yep. we will choose um, one winner at random for a care package. Mm. And be sure to use 
beer mitten, uh, beer mitten 25, no the, just beer mitten 25 for 25% off beer mitten shirts. <laughs> and uh, that'll be good for a week. That'll run for a week. So, all right. Uh, David, favorite place to drop on Fortnite? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Salty Springs. That's the only place I drop. Hey, David, do you have Xbox Live? If so, we might even get on Fortnite tonight. And it, we've talked about doing a Fortnite 60 seconds. So, Wait, David who? Jensen. Oh, David, we'll see you on. David, uh, you have to send us your gamer tags so we can add each other. Yes. Jack, can I get on the podcast as a guest? I don't know, Jack. Are you a good uh, conversationalist? And what would you talk about? What would you want to talk about? There are. Uh, send us an email. Yeah. at screwco.com and say these are the topics I would talk about. We love edgy, obnoxious stuff, so just uh, put it out there, man. We love hearing people's stories. What the duck at screwco.com, and we'll uh, we'll go from there. If Anna, Gina, if animals could talk, who would be the rudest? <laughs> Cats. <laughs> totally be a house cat. So so stuck up and uh, what's the bad smug. Dog? Smug. Did have a <laughs> smug. Uh, yeah, cats, man. See you, Jack. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, I I think they would be awfully rude if they could talk. Who is more of a lightweight, Kenny or Tyler? Are you talking about like boxing weight class or drinking? I'm physically lighter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think they mean drinking. Uh, I mean, when it comes to having a good time, neither of us really quit. Yeah. Like, you know, if people are out going, we're not the type of guys to say it's time to turn in early. Um, Maybe if you want, maybe next episode we can sit here and up a shot every 10 minutes and see who passes out first. We can answer that for real. Or you have to find out in person. Yeah, come party with us. Oh, uh, Fran, Jackie's mom, asks, uh, who's the best dancer? Oh, gosh. I mean, that, I think, I don't know if we can answer that. That has to be just a, a personal preference. You guys have to watch us dance. I've been told I'm a very exotic shoulder dancer. I think Mia told me that. So just I dance with my shoulders a lot. Um, between us, yeah. I uh, maybe we should have a contest. We should, or we could have a dance off next podcast. I mean, I love dancing. I mean, yeah. Fran, you've seen us yeah, dance. Fran, you've seen who us, is the who is you've the better seen us dancer? Cut a rug. Who? Um, good question, Fran. Mom thinks that Kelvin should make an appearance. Kelvin the cat. Uh, early episode of the Brewskis with the Broskis. Late episode, actually. Um, yeah, Alyssa's cat. We'd love to have him on. You guys should have applications for the podcast, Gina. All uh, right, starting now. If you send a. Um, Email to us, subject line, podcast application. Mm -hmm. Send us your podcast application. Um, if it's for you or for somebody that you think would be a good guest. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, people lined up, so just start sending them in. We'd love to get people involved. Tracy thinks this should be a dance-off. I agree. All right, Gina says Kenny is the lightweight. All right, Gina. Hey, we, Gina. Might, we might have to fight. Hey, Gina, you rage proper. Uh, Lexi, go shot for shot live. We might have to so, I, so we can prove who's the winner. Go shot for shot with the seventy dollars scotch. Yeah, Gina seconds uh, Lexi's uh, shot for shot. Um, is that what that text was? What? I didn't get it. Did I? Oh. Um. Oh, where'd it go? All right, never mind. I thought it was. I thought it was a question. I think it was David sending us his pod, his gamer tag. <laughs> Good. You're quick with it, David. I love it. All right. I think that's it for questions. I think then. That's it. If anybody else has a question um, they want to answer, just email. Yeah. What the duck at screwco.com. We will get it next week. Or message us or comment on this video. Um, Thanks for the support, guys. Please share it. Um, iTunes downloads are big for us. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and download it on iTunes. Uh, and we're working on getting it on Stitcher, too. Yep, for all you Android users out there. And every video is on YouTube and Facebook as well. Yep, you should have an iPhone, but if you don't, well, we're working on getting it from Android. Gina, do you guys do out of state podcasts? I have recommendation if so. Uh, we can make that work. Yeah, it's definitely something we want to do. I mean, the podcast is our main focus, so we'd be willing to travel. Carol Ward is watching from Alaska. Thank you. We have Gina in New York and you in Alaska. We are literally, About, I mean, kind of the entire continental U.S. from uh, coast to coast. Well, uh, the complete opposite sides of the entire earth. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's why you stay in school, kids. <laughs> yeah, Gina, let us know who you have out of state. For sure. Carol, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thank what you. What time is it there? It's probably early. early yeah, they're early. probably like four or five four or hours five behind maybe, us. Yeah. Um, Dope. All right. Guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. Email questions, like, subscribe, share, rate on iTunes. That goes so far for us. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate it. Cheers. Cheers. Adios, amigos.
Mark from Nat Geo. Yeah, Gina. I mean, we need to make, take a New York trip, so let's set something up. Um, for all the audio listeners out there, thank you for tuning in. Oh, Zach McCutter just joined on, on uh, Instagram. Sorry, Zach. We didn't... 427, nice time. Uh, audio uh, audio listeners, thank you guys so much. Uh, for this song of the week, my song is The Less I Know the Better by Tame Impala. Love that song. The beat is funky. You can get down to it. Great song. I suggest listening to it. They got some good music. The Less I Know the Better by Tame Impala. Tyler? Song of the week for me. Oh, you can. I was just going to say, if you didn't know if you had any. Uh, I'm jamming to uh, Vienna by Billy Joel right now. Great um, song. Because I'm dabbling on the piano on it. So, um, yeah, guys, uh, like we said, 25% off starting. Um, it'll be Thursday at noon. Wednesday. Uh, I'm sorry, Wednesday at noon. Beer Mitten 25 for 25% off Beer Mitten shirts. Um, that's a little bonus for all you guys who listened and stuck around. Mm-hmm. And uh, be sure to email us questions, what the duck at screwcode.com. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you guys listening. It means the world to us. Peace. Peace out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. All episodes of What's Your Screw are available on iTunes. And if you like the show, be sure to rate, subscribe, and leave a comment. As always, there are free stickers on our website, www.screwco.com. We'll see you guys next time.